Dear students, I welcome all for this session on classes, objects and methods. From this session onwards, you will note the difference between the C language and the Java language. That means uh, you will learn how to implement the concepts of object oriented programming language in Java. The core element of any object oriented programming language is an object. Let us see how to implement the concept of real world object in programming environment. The structure of any object has to be defined first. To define an object structure in Java, we use the concept of classes. So the main objective of the session is to introduce the concept of class and then defining a class. That means you will learn uh, how to define a class at the end of this session. Class. Everything in Java is associated with classes and objects along with its attributes and methods. For example, in real life a car is an object, isn't it? So the car has attributes like weight, color, model, uh, company, manufacturer, etc. And the methods like uh, drive and break. Here the methods are nothing but the behavior of an object. So in our programming language uh, we represent uh, the attributes of an object as the variables and uh, the behavior of an object as methods. So in a class what we do is we define the structure of an object. Hence a class is considered as a blueprint for creating an object. Okay. So what is a class? A class is a blueprint for creating an object. That means uh, inside the class you define how the object is. What are the attributes of an object and what are the behavior of an object. Okay. Next, let us see how to define a class in Java. To create a class in Java, we use the keyword class. First, uh, we write the keyword class followed by the name of the class. Here, the class name is any user defined name. And this user defined name should be a valid identifier. It is a good practice to define a class name beginning with capital letter. It is just a convention that we have followed that the class name always begins with capital letter. And after this class name you will open the bracket. Then within this uh, flower bracket you will define the data members for this class as well as the member functions for this class. Then you will close the parenthesis that is you will close the flower bracket. This is how uh, you define a class in Java. Let us see an example. A student is an object in real world. Let us see how to define a student object using class in Java. First you have to define a class. So here I am uh, defining the class uh, name as student uh, beginning with capital letter S. And in reality a student object has attributes like uh, name, combination, roll number and age. And these uh, attributes are represented as variables uh, in our programming language and they form our data members. They are our data members. And uh, using an appropriated uh, data type for those variables I have defined the data members in the class. And next, uh, a student has a behavior, a set of behavior, right? So here, I'm, what I'm doing here is, I'm considering a behavior where I'm going to read the values for the data members. So I have declared a method called input within this class, uh, which accepts arguments like uh, the age of the uh, student, uh, the roll number of a student, the name of the student and the combination and then I am uh, assigning those values to these data members using this method and this method is nothing but uh, a member function. This method is nothing but 
member function so this is how we bind the data members and member function into a single unit called class in general uh, the body of the class defines uh, the structure of an object called student okay now i want you to consider an any object of your choice and then uh, to define a class for that object so with this assignment uh, i'll conclude uh, today's session uh, in the next session we will see how to uh, create an object of this class and then how to uh, access the members of the class using the object that have created okay uh, thank you thank you for your patience listening